Maybe one day we'll all be designing telepathically. But in the meantime, we've got a small gap between our brains and our layers. And in that gap, a keyboard and a mouse. But the latest improvements to Sketch make that gap feel smaller than ever, especially once you've learned all the tricks. Let's take a look at some of the brand new improvements we've made to layer selection in Sketch. You may have noticed that you're able to click the hollow space within an unfilled shape to select something behind it. But before our latest update, if the shape in the front was selected, its bounding box would be blocking you. But not anymore. What's great is that this goes for clicking, but doesn't affect dragging a selected layer, which can happen anywhere within the bounding box without accidentally losing your selection. All of this now applies to the empty space within the bounds of a group too. Just because a group is large doesn't mean it needs to completely block everything behind it. And you can now right click anywhere within a selection box, not just on the layer itself, to bring up the contextual menu. This works even if the layer you've selected is not the frontmost layer. And this goes for locked layers too. In fact, now when you go out of your way to select a locked layer, you can still move, resize, and rotate it just like any other layer. Locking a layer will still, of course, prevent you from selecting it via the canvas or keyboard navigation. And for a bit of extra help selecting overlapping layers, right-clicking on overlapping layers while holding Shift will now bring up a quick layer selection menu. Hovering over each item will highlight it on the canvas, just like the layer list. And you can Shift-click to add a layer to your selection. When it's time to select a bunch of layers all at once, you're probably familiar with clicking and dragging a rectangular marquee from a blank area of the canvas. But when layers start stacking up, we don't always have a blank part of the canvas conveniently nearby, which is why we've added a completely new tool. Introducing the dedicated marquee selection tool, which you can switch to at any time by pressing the letter X on the keyboard. Then you can click and drag a box around the layers you wanna select. And the marquee tool is smart enough to ignore large background layers if your box doesn't cross over any of their edges. And for even more control, you can hold the option key to only select layers fully contained within the marquee, and command to ignore groups and select only individual layers. Which reminds me of another one of my all-time favorite sketch tricks. This one's been around for a while, but in case you've missed it, when you already have a layer selected, you can hold option and command then drag with your cursor absolutely anywhere on the canvas to move the selected layers, without fear of accidentally losing your selection. Just like the old Photoshop move tool from back in the day. One small caveat was that this conflicted with dragging a new selection, but not anymore. If you have nothing selected, you can now start holding Option and Command before you start dragging a rectangular marquee, and you'll get the combined effects of holding both keys like we did before. Another improvement is that when you have multiple layers selected, you can now command click one of them to narrow your selection. You can also now command click on an artboard's background to select it, even if it already contains layers. And you can now use an artboard as a reference object when aligning multi-selections. And finally, when selecting child layers or nested symbols within a symbol instance, you may have noticed the small icon we added recently to switch your selection to the parent symbol. Now we've also added a menu item for it. Under Edit, Select, Select Containing Symbol. Or better yet, you can press Shift Escape. Now go download the latest version of Sketch and try out these selection improvements for yourself.